Alright, let's play a little bit more of this is the police. I kinda missed this game. Day four. Golden bird. Robespierre to reveal his identity when the time is right. Feminist organization denied official registration. So what should you get? Enemies using feminists to destroy Freeburg. Feminists out of control. Whenever I'm alone at home and there's a knock at the door, I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. Hello, my name is Steve. And oh, we're not these Boyd, guys. Is that right? I'm not home. To get to my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus stop, jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either. But according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. She patiently uh -oh. listens to them, asks them questions, regales them with pastries, and never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch her do it, I've got to admit it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch, and lit up a cigar. But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Today I'm a little rougher still. Shut the door in his nose this time. Another couple weeks at this rate and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky, ready to fire my warning shots. In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. Normally when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but all three of our sons supported me. The in-laws hmm. always blame the I'm not very sure about her just running away. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, we sort of have a pact. The fellow Laura ran off with is young oh, okay. enough to be her son. Oh, man. I, hear I was like, aren't you, old. like, curious with if she's maybe dead? all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but he'll be back chasing college girls before the year is out. So we have an agreement. Sally's gonna track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid, which of course means anything at all. It's a crazy situation. I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. But I can't afford to lose Sally as an ally. So for the moment, I had to swallow my pride. What's that? Oh, jeez, that's loud. Mrs. Markham, this is Boyd. Oh, is there any news? That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? An address, phone number? Have you spoken to her? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range to two suspects, or whatever you like to say at your police building. At my police building, we find people faster than a funny old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girlfriends. Oh, you're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. They'd give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. And you have nothing, Jack. You don't even have a hobby. Whoa. You have no passion. It's why Laura left you. Let's not go back into that, Sally. Find my wife, and we can discuss... Granny, you better watch your step, I'm waiting for okay? You call, and my patience is running thin. Laura, if you've stopped loving me, I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? Mm-hmm. Kinda sad. The dog, it gives me energy. That's not her voice at all. Strives. I totally forgot how to play this game. Um... Yeah, start the day, I guess. Let's play some fine tunes. What do we got here? Some Chopin? Let's play it. My favorite. 
Uh, city Paul. Well, if someone commits a serious crime and flees the scene, the case goes to your detectives. The ghetto. Alright. So this is where the detectives come in. Let's get to on this case. Black activist Ronnie Moore was found shot outside his home. That's a weird way to die. Found shot. That looks as full. He was like, oh, I'm about to go in summer home. One of the robbers was inside and yelled, bam, bam. And he was dead. Like, oh, shit. It's not the cleaning lady. A member of the city cleaning crew saw an elderly woman approaching some expensive cars in a parking lot carrying a long iron rod. The whole street could hear him shouting, Bastards, thieves, some blood, suckers. Here we go, coachy, get that granny. Now my granny, you're about to get of a granny. Oh wait, it's an elderly man. Well, you gotta go with Tsubaki. A local Japanese woman. What's happening here? Labor market. Can I hire someone? Oof. This guy looks like a crook. Wait. Who do I need? Shift. Dun. Are you going to be? Why oh, is nothing happening? Carjacking a gas station surveillance camera recorded a car that some of a stolen vehicle is. Oh shit! Time to go, Coachy. In Austin, gotta catch that guy. It's a $200 car, but you know, you gotta get it. The detective had interviewed witnesses, collected evidence from the scene, and are pursuing investigation expected results. Wait, what? Oh. They drove by in a sedan and they shot like a machine gun. I only heard a few muffled shots. You got what he deserved. He's been causing trouble for a long time. Yo, I think we got a like, suspect here. I remember the car and the neighbor was quiet. I never heard any shots. Yo, we got a fucking another wit uh, suspect here. Why am I su almost saying witness all the time? The police these days don't sh do anything. I almost died myself. I went to buy some medicine and was nearly hit by some idiot's car. Well, how about you tell me what the car looked like, you idiot? You're so useless, you should have been driven over. I remember the car in the neighborhood was quiet. This guy is so fucking suspect. Suspicious. I think suspect is also a good word to use. What, what am I doing here? Alright. He got out of a... Wait, what? So the window was already broken? He left the building. The robber was like, oh shit. I think he saw my left thumb. Come out. And there's a good window to shoot it from. All right, what now? So they drove a sedan, that's it. A racist gang has recently made some trouble in the city by capturing black townspeople and beating them to death. They recently sent a message to a local radio station promising to call all the black doctors, firemen and police. We don't need any more dead police, especially not more. <clears throat> not mere months before the election, the racists are gaining more and more followers. Even some of our citizens support them. What the fuck? You have to fire all your black employees over the next two days? Wait, what? Is this a joke? Austin, this... Now it's up to you. What's the report gonna be? Oh shit, somebody wrote to me. Let's turn it silent. Oh my god. I shouldn't have... L look! This fucking old tag is turning Tsubaki to a useless bum also. 
she was a hundred points worth. I think she was 15. What happens if you go in the minus? Are you, do you become like a criminal? I don't get it. So useless. I hope you got some good results. Hey, what's this? Corey Ramsey, mother of several children, has expressed her concerns about suspicious men wearing bifocals seated on a bench beside the playground. He's been watching the children for over an hour and has taken several. Well, there we go. Get that, pedo. The driver is nowhere to be seen. Search the car, interview any potential eyewitnesses, wait at a safe distance. Yep. Wait a second, Austin died? Offender caught, officer dead. They even got the black one. Now I don't have to fire her. <laughs> oh my god. This is the fucking meanest shit ever. Holy fuck. I was about to fire her. I was like, even. Nah, if, if she would have. Oh man. This is very. Oh, they got them. That's a very bad predicament. Mr. Broad, I'm opening Freeburg's first martial arts club and for my first exhibition I want to hold a sparring match where one of my students takes on your toughest cop. After the fight I'll teach him a few new tricks that will help him out on the streets. Yeah, and then he's gonna be like, yo, you know what? I kinda like this stuff, you know what, take granny. She'll get like beat up and get her arthritis cured, maybe cured, maybe. Holy fuck! All right, what's happening? Your detective present frames different version of what might have happened at the crime scene. Uh huh. They got it wrong half the time, but a good cop can separate facts from fiction. If they know how to look at the case materials, they're more professionals. To get your suspect, you'll need to figure out the true sequence of the events at the crime scene using the frames you think likely sometimes... You think likely? Uh, sometimes with a little guesswork thrown in. If you add it all up, but the sequence fails, you're probably telling the wrong story. Uh-huh. So the sedan drove up. Wait, what is this? Drug lord? What does that have to do with anything? I can't move these. I would say like this. But then, what's up with this one? Like, well, this. Oh! Like this. You see this? That's the car park. Right, that's how it happened. Must have. Or maybe for. Nah, that's it. And? What happened? Do we do it? Kevin's throat bar. The bartender reports that a couple of dancers started fighting over tips and the cut fight broke out right on stage. Subaki, I hope you don't disappoint me again. And I don't know what's happening with Kochi. She got like three bars full. Ko Tsubaki and Burdi. Right. Bart then reported that a fight is broken up between Patron and Bart's monster. The man, apparently drunk, had climbed onto the stage while the local singer was performing and tried to sing a duet with her. Asano, Kochi, it's time. Chief just about nailed the jab a couple of times, but he was too fast for me and one on points. I don't really understand all the rules, so I can keep track of points very well, but he was alright. Even showed me a few tricks after the match, I got carried away a little and pulled my back. I think I can take a day off. What? Wow, she got a lot of points. She really threw her back out. Wait, there's still, there's still a couple of missions. Uh oh, on stage are two strippers going at it. And it's gone beyond arguing to a full-on cat fight. The bouncer is fast asleep, clearly too wasted to handle the situation. The drunk patrons are happily watching the fight. 
Shout of amusing, turn up the lights. Listen, girls, cut the crap. Draw your service weapon. Oh, the strippers can you find it obvious oblivious. Okay, watch strippers go at it. Step on the station, try to separate. What the fuck? So they got thrown cold water at them and they were like, oh shit, screw it. And they booked it? Wet? In the stripper uniform? Outside? They must have like, died of cold. At least these guys are fucking great at the job. Who just disappointed me? Is this it? Now these guys are still working, Kochi and Asano. Let's see their results. I don't know where I sent them to again. Never mind. Alright, end of the day. Awesome. Rest in peace. Alright, so I gotta fire Armstrong. Moser, Stovell, Robbins, what the fuck, man? Like, look at how fucking crooked the world was back then. Which time saw these? The 80s? Or even earlier? I think the 40s, right? What the fuck is this guy doing here? I think he's like mobster. Alright, that's it.